For decades, manufacturing has been driven by a single dominant force labor costs. Corporations sought cheaper labor in distant lands, prioritizing cost cutting over logistics and efficiency. But today we stand at the precipice of a new era where robotics and automation are poised to turn that paradigm on its head. The question we must ask is not just where is labor cheap, but where is manufacturing most efficient? As automation rises, the significance of labor costs diminishes. Instead, logistics, proximity to consumers, and access to raw materials emerge as critical considerations. Could this signal the return of manufacturing to developed nations such as the United States? We believe it could. The rapid advancement of robotics and automation has fundamentally changed how we think about manufacturing. Modern robots equipped with artificial intelligence perform intricate tasks with precision and speed far beyond human capability. With every upgrade, they reduce our reliance on manual labor, bringing a new level of efficiency to factories. We must also acknowledge the cost benefits. Though the upfront investment in robotics may be high, the long-term savings are undeniable. What once required hundreds of human hands can now be accomplished by a fleet of machines operating tirelessly with minimal intervention. Robotic labor will cost a fraction of even the cheapest human labor. It is not just about saving money, it is about optimizing the process, enhancing quality, and eliminating errors that naturally arise from human limitations. And this new generation of robots is flexible. They can be reprogrammed with ease, adapting to shifting market demands without the need for retraining or workforce turnover. The next generation of robots will do most of the things human workers do, without taking breaks, taking sick leave, or losing their experience and knowledge when they need to be replaced. As the labor-intensive processes of the past fade away, robotics opens a gateway to a future of scalable, efficient, and adaptable manufacturing. If labor is no longer the driving force, then what is? The answer lies in logistics. In this new age, the proximity of manufacturing to the consumer is more crucial than ever. Reducing the time it takes for goods to reach their destination is no longer a matter of convenience. It is a competitive edge. Bringing manufacturing closer to the end customer reduces shipping costs, cuts delivery times, and even alleviates the environmental impact of long-distance transportation. In a world where consumers increasingly expect fast delivery, having factories a stone's throw from key markets is no small advantage. We must also consider supply chain resilience. Complex global supply chains are vulnerable, whether it be from geopolitical tensions, natural disasters, or the disruptions of a global pandemic. By reshoring production, companies can safeguard themselves from such uncertainties, building a supply chain that is shorter, stronger, and more reliable. With labor costs diminished as a key driver, many corporations are now considering reshoring manufacturing to developed nations like the United States. And why not? Automation offers an opportunity to bring production back without reviving the high labor costs that once drove them away. Government incentives play a role as well. Tax breaks and subsidies encourage companies to rebuild their manufacturing capacity at home. In doing so, they contribute not only to economic growth but also to technological innovation, creating a positive feedback loop that strengthens their competitive position globally. It is important to note that while robots may be doing the heavy lifting, the demand for a highly skilled workforce remains. Workers will not be replaced, but rather redefined, taking on new roles in managing, maintaining, and advancing the technology that powers tomorrow's factories. Of course, we must not ignore the role of raw materials. For certain industries, such as automotive, aerospace, and electronics, proximity to raw material sources can be critical. It is far more efficient to manufacture where the materials are reducing transportation costs and improving production flow. Some companies may even seek vertical integration, controlling both the extraction of raw materials and the manufacturing process. This brings more of the supply chain under their control, leading to greater efficiency and less reliance on external suppliers. The path ahead is not without challenges. As automation grows, so does the need for a workforce skilled in robotics and AI. The shortage of such skills poses a significant challenge for industries looking to reshore. Investment in education and training must go hand in hand with the technological advancements that are reshaping manufacturing. Then there is the matter of infrastructure. 
Upgrading existing facilities or building new ones equipped to handle advanced manufacturing technology requires substantial capital. And while automation may reduce labor costs, companies must navigate regulatory environments that differ vastly from the regions where they previously offshored. Yet despite these challenges, the opportunities are clear. As we transition into this new era, the convergence of robotics, automation, and logistics will redefine how we think about manufacturing. Countries like the United States have an unprecedented opportunity to revitalize their industries, drawing manufacturing back to where innovation thrives. It is a return not to the past, but to the future, a future where technological leadership, supply chain resilience, and proximity to the consumer dictate the flow of goods rather than the pursuit of the cheapest labor. This is the dawn of a more sustainable, efficient, and resilient global economy. Let us prepare for the new industrial revolution, one where the robots do not replace us but work alongside us as we redefine the possibilities of manufacturing in the modern world. We are Quadrivo, and this is Net Dystopia. Until next time. Like this video, leave a comment below, share this with others, and please subscribe to our channel, Net Dystopia.